So in this video we're just going to show how we can fix the gap around the edge of our panels in our Unity UI canvas so that we can't see anything behind the UI image after the panel takes up the entire camera view. So to go through the steps of recreating this we will add a canvas to our hierarchy so if we right click go to the UI uh, and we'll add a panel and you can see it a little bit here but we'll just change the colors around here so it's a bit more obvious. Go on the main camera and we'll set the background to white and then in our panel, if we set the color to, uh, we'll do it to a dark gray so you can see it a bit clearer. There we go. So you can see that there's a, a white outline. If I click play, you'll see it a little bit more. There's a white outline there around the outside. So there's a little gap around our UI panel, which you will sort of see the game underneath if you've got a game in today. So we want to get rid of this gap. So the reason that that gap is there, by default, the panel is using the Unity default background sprite and there is a little gap around the outside of that. The image that this is using that we've seen has this gap around the outside. It's here in the source image. If we remove that and set that to none, you see the gaps immediately disappeared. So if I hit play now, there won't be that gap around the UI, you can see. So that solves it. So that'll fill the screen with the color block that you selected in your color selector. Another way to do it, if you still want a source image, is to set that sprite to something that takes up the entire screen that has no edge. So we can set that as a, a white square. We can do a two by two pixel image, and then that will fill the entire screen. So I'll show that now. And the reason we just want to do it as plain white is so we can still adjust the color in Unity. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. You can just use your image creation program just to make a two by two image. Just have to be small, so the file size isn't very big. Two by two image of uh, just a plain white square, but just to give an example, we'll do it quickly in Paint. So if we open up Paint, which everyone should hopefully have, and we'll change the size of our canvas. So if we hit Canvas up here, uh, we'll unlock the aspect ratio, set it to pixels here, and we'll just do a, um, a two by two square. So we'll just zoom in on that. So you can see just plain white two by two square, two pixels by two pixels. And then we'll save that to our uh, project folder. So jumping back into Unity, I've saved that UI, I've got a UI panel into a sprites folder in our assets. And if you click on that, you can see it's just a, a small white square. You don't need to worry about size, two by two, you can scale that to any size that you want in Unity. It will work fine. And if we change now the panel source image to that square, so named it UI panel, here it is. And you see that line disappeared now. So if we click play now, there is no image leaking through from behind. So the panel is taking up the full size of the uh, the camera view. And just to show that square being white still lets you change the color of that in Unity. So we set that to a, a, a dark gray. You can see it hadn't changed when we changed the, the source image. But if we set this in here, put the transparency all the way up, and you can see that we can change that that panel to any color that we want in UI as it's white it lets us set it in Unity. Okay, so that is how you get rid of the gap around your UI panel in your Unity game.